Welcome back, Larry Moore, More Marketing Systems. This is Rockford SEO Consultant Video Blog. And today's topic is, what are the six main areas on your landing page that you should split test or a B test? And this is not so much, you know, what you should do, but really what you should actually look at or test. So let's get started. Uh, the first area you should test are your headlines or your subheadlines. When somebody comes to your landing page, their first impression is your headline. They usually have a want, a need, uh, a problem that they want solved. Make sure that your headline uh, promises a result so that when they come to your page, they see immediately with your headline that that is uh, this landing page is going to offer a a result to their to their problem or need. Uh, secondly, test images or other media that you have on the landing page. Uh, do not use stock photos. We've already covered that in a previous webinar or a previous uh, video. Um, when you're using uh, pictures or if you have a video embedded, make sure that you try other uh, other uh, photos. Uh, in, a, in a split test to see which one produces the best result. You could even test having a model looking at your call to action versus not looking at a call to action. So there are various things that you can test uh, as far as the uh, media or photos on your split uh, on your uh, landing page. The third area, if you have background images or if you have a background image, um, test that. Uh, there are various options. Uh, if you have a background image related to your uh, offer, uh, you can test that against a, another like uh, similar image, or you can test it against an image that is non-related. Sometimes non-related images, uh, particularly if they uh, have an emotional appeal, can uh, produce a better conversion. You can also test it against a, a streaming video, which are very popular right now. So make sure you test your background as well. Fourth area, test bullet points. Now when you're testing your bullet points, which typically um, outline or list uh, benefits, not features, but benefits of your offer, uh, you can not only change the actual bullet points, but sometimes the order of the bullet points can have an impact on conversion as well. So make sure you do both. Test the order and the actual bullet points. Uh, number five, test the color of your call to action button. Now your call to action, as we've talked about in a previous video, should stick out. Make sure that it is in contrast to the other colors on your page. If you have, say, reds and blues, uh, black text, um, perhaps green would be a good call to action button. But you're not really going to know until you test it. So make sure to get the best color that you do some split testing to see which uh, has the highest conversion rate. And number uh, six, test the text on your call to action button. Um, Basically, what you want to stay away from are the generic, you know, submit, nobody likes to submit, or uh, order, or um, enter now, or whatever the case may be. You want to put something that is really personalized for your offer for that person. For instance, if you're offering a free report, you might put something like, send me my free report now, or yes, I would like my free report now, or something to that effect where it's personalized for that person that is actually uh, requesting or opting in to your offer. You want to make sure you stay away from any kind of verbiage also that can be intimidating or nebulous or um, can really uh, put that person off because they're not really sure what the ramifications are. Um, you, want to, you want the text to be very safe and clear, letting them know exactly what's going to happen. When they push the button, yes, I want re my report now, well, they know if they push the button, that's what they're going to get. They're going to get their report, that's what's going to happen. So make sure you test different text uh, samples in your call to action button so that you make sure that you find just the perfect one for the highest conversion. Sometimes just a minor change can make a big difference. So those are really the six areas that I wanted to cover today, the six areas that you should test on your landing page. Even if you have a great conversion uh, rate, 
If you have a very high conversion on your landing page, you should always be testing. Never uh, take for granted that you've got the best possible design. Um, always assume that you can do a little bit better. And even a small increase in conversion can often result in a very high increase or a significant increase anyway in uh, your, your total sales or, or profit. So that's what I wanted to cover today. As always, uh, if you're not on our website, come to our website. There's a live link right here, rockfordseoconsultant.com. Make sure you take advantage of our opt-in, our free uh, ebook on our four-step uh, marketing, and also take advantage of our free 30-minute uh, consultation. Um, pick my brain if you have any questions about landing pages or SEO or whatever the topic may be. Uh, let's spend some time together and talk about it. So thank you for stopping by. Larry Moore, more marketing systems, and we'll see you again next week.